If you were a kid in the 80s, then you might have played with one of these. But what does this crazy looking phone like retro weird looking thing actually do? Welcome to Billboard. The Merlin was a game that was invented in 1978 by a former NASA employee with a PhD in astrophysics. The Merlin was marketed as the electronic wizard. Now where have I heard that before? It was bright red and had a touch tone pad in the middle, a speaker at the top and looked a heck of a lot like a phone. In fact, when I brought one of these home recently, my kids assumed it was some kind of phone. I actually had one of these when I was a kid and I loved it. I knew this thing inside and out, literally. I knew how to always at least tie or beat the Merlin in tic-tac-toe every time. I knew every note in the Melody Maker game. I knew all the tricks and patterns in the Mindbender and Magic Square games. I even learnt how to play blackjack in real life because of the Merlin. And when I said I knew the Merlin inside out, I wasn't kidding. After playing it to death, I pulled it apart on many occasions. In fact, I desoldered and resoldered the middle LED, replacing the red LED with a yellow one. For no good reason at all. If you have a Merlin at home and it has a yellow LED in the middle, then that actually could be mine. Let me know in the comments. Anyway. Being eternally nostalgic, I bought myself a Merlin on eBay, which was in very good condition for its age. It arrived nicely packaged, was as described, and worked beautifully. It was on my list of retro cool devices to make a video about, and things were good for a while. Then this happened. Sadly, when dropped from a small height, the 40 year old plastic was not able to survive and shattered on impact. It actually made me quite sad to see it broken. I thought about gluing it together, but all the king's horses. So I had another quick look on eBay, and lo and behold there was another Merlin for sale in good condition but not working. The back of the battery case was also missing, but that's okay, because that part didn't break. A retro repair. I've been waiting for the opportunity to do that, so let's do it now. Well that was a great success. I'm not sure if I've ever repaired a device that is 40 plus years old. I am super happy with the result. I think I'll just need to be more careful with my retro gear and maybe think about what is more like a museum piece than a plaything. Do you have a retro device that you had as a kid? I would love to hear about it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief video and if you liked the video, please press the thumbs up and I would love you to subscribe. As always, I love making these videos. Thanks for watching. Drop, drop, drop.